Now, Botswana is often cited as an example of democracy and good governance on a continent where political instability is often common. But former president of Botswana, Festus Mohai, says there are many developments around the continent that are encouraging for democracy. I spoke with Mr. Mohai while he was here in Washington. In Southern Africa, we have uh, multi-party elections this year in five of the countries, Botswana, Namibia, South Africa, Mozambique, and Malawi and um, other countries where democratically elected governments are in power, such as Ghana, Tanzania, uh, etc. I, I think those are, are signs that uh, we are making progress. There are countries where certain things had gone wrong in the 80s and so on, but where democracy, as in Ghana, has been firmly re-established and has been practiced. Now, of course, there are shortcomings uh, and imperfections in our governance, as elsewhere, but we are dealing with this uh, slowly. What is really important is democratic elections. My preoccupation right now is this phenomenon whereby we have popular leaders, national heroes in fact, who overstay their welcome and end up by undoing the good that they have done. Do you have any specific countries that you can name? I'm not referring to any particular country. But you remember, we had heroes like Sakutur. By the time he passed away, he had actually executed a number of his original lieutenants. With, and he had been a national hero. Kamuzubanda of, of Malawi, he was very popular when he came to power. But he stayed and overstayed his welcome and tragically was ultimately defeated. That is not the only problem, but... My, I mention it because these are special people, would be icons who, because of overstaying their, their welcome, end up and retiring without a, a legacy that is properly befitting such national heroes. Last year you became the second <coughs> former African leader to receive the Mo Ibrahim Award, which recognizes good governance. What does that signify? What message does it send for leaders who, as you just mentioned, overstay? The more Ibrahima approach is to try to use a positive means to induce people to practice good governance and maybe retire honorably when they are still very popular. I, for instance, uh, like the fact that the AU itself has said that it will no longer recognize leaders who come to power by unconstitutional means. When you were at the AIDS conference last year, you and other leaders launched the Champions for an HIV-free generation. What kind of results are you seeing? Well, it's the results that we expect over a five to ten year period. We are encouraging prevention. Prevention is the most important thing. We are concentrating on Southern Africa because Southern Africa is the epicenter of the epidemic. And so Yes, we, we are proceeding. That was former Botswana President Festus Mohai speaking with me while on a recent trip to Washington.